I was going to wait till I got home, but I can't. So if you're just, in fact, I wait for some people to log on, so I'm not talking to myself, yeah? I'm about to run. I'm about to run like hell. If you're, I was going to wait till I got home before I'd done this. I've just found out that the young men, who I was at the service station yesterday, the motorway services, and by chance, I happened to walk in and there were four coaches full of young, young men in the army. If you're watching this, give it a share because there has to be, the public have to show their support on, the, on an issue like this so that these young lads don't get left hung out to dry. Now, I was at the motorway services. I saw a load of young men who were in the army. I had my photo taken with them. Brad, anyway, let's look. <laughs> <laughs> the photo was shared online I've just found out that those young men are being investigated they've all had their phones taken off them by the army they've seized all of their phones none of them can now contact their, their families their families don't know what's going on they just know that they've had their phones seized phones seized by the army for what? for having your photo taken with someone we well, you having your photo taken with someone. Now, a Muslim organisation, the Muslim Council of Britain, have made the big song and dance about this. The army have given a statement in response to the Muslim Council of Britain. The second in command of the Muslim Council of Britain signed a declaration saying that our armed forces are legitimate targets for suicide bombings. That's who currently our army leaders are pandering to. The Muslim Council of Britain. Yes, we have a Muslim Council of Britain. No joke, okay? Now, were the Muslim Council of Britain this vocal when four times as many British Muslims went to fight for ISIS than joined our armed services? These young men who have been neglected, they are predominantly white working class, they've been forgotten and neglected, undereducated and failed in our country, and they've joined the military. Many of them, because there's no other choice. They've joined the military, and you want them to sacrifice their lives. You want them to go away to faraway fields, fight and die to install freedom in other countries, whilst you take their freedom away from them at motorway services off the M bloody one. They've had a photo taken. I have never ever, they're saying far right figures, I've never been charged with or arrested for any racial or religious extremism ever in my life. They are all false tags put on me by media and government. I've never, so how can you try and discipline, not just discipline, but take their phones and investigate them, investigate these young men for having a photo taken, for expressing their own freedom. They have a freedom to choose who they want. Is there a list of people now that our armed services have a list of who you can and can't have your photo taken with? Is that what's happening now in Britain? What an absolute joke. It's bad enough that we have military, the military personnel recruitment videos show, show Muslim soldiers taking their boots off and getting down and praying in the middle of a battlefield while our soldiers say, hold on a minute, lads, what, someone's praying. Are you for real? Are you for real? Yeah, and you've gone that politically correct. Photograph shared the other day by the British military saying we're having a weekend personnel away day for all the imams in Britain. All the imams, the imams who believe that homosexuals should be punished for adult, for, with, 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 should be punished with death. The imams who believe women are second class citizens. All of these imams, and you're, you, if someone had a photo taken with Jeremy Corbyn, would there be this investigation? Jeremy Corbyn, who has said Hamas, Hamas are a prescribed terrorist organisation. If you're watching this, share it. And if you support our armed forces and those young men, those young men who saw someone who, for whatever reasons, for whatever reason, whether, even if they don't agree with me politically, they think he's, we recognise him, we'll have our photo taken with him. They now face disciplinary. If you think that's wrong, then please, I've shared a link to the website 
I've shared a link to the website on this video, at the start of the video. Go on and sign the petition. I'll personally hand this petition into the army. People need to know, the army needs to know, and this happen, needs to happen fast and quick and get numbers quick. Because the army needs to be sitting there realizing, oh shit, the British public are not happy about this. If you think you're gonna leave those young lads, if you, if you think they're gonna leave them, ha if you think you're gonna leave them out to dry and just be able to discipline them and sack them or whatever it is you think you're gonna do for your politically correct bullshit, which is exactly what it is. Political correctness gone insane in our army. Our army. You wanna prosecute, you wanna bring discipline against young men for having a photo taken with someone. Unbelievable. And expressing their own freedoms, their own rights. It's their right to have a free, their photo taken with whoever they want. You can't expect them to sign up and sacrifice their life and go and get blown up when you won't even give them any freedom in their own country. That's what a laughing stock. People around the world must look at our country and think, what is going on? You're actually disciplining and investigating. And then we've got all these comments about all oh, ideologies within the army. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. But if you're watching this and you don't like it, sign the petition. I'll personally hand it in. And if you, if you are in the army or, or people, the, the, the little, the politicians within the army, the people at the top, if you're sitting there thinking that you're going to sacrifice these young men, then I will cause the biggest shitstorm and demonstrations ever over, because no one, even if you don't like me, yeah, those men have their own rights and freedoms. And if they want to have a photo taken next to someone, they can. You know, if you had a Muslim in the British army, a Muslim in the British Army, and he had a photo taken with the Muslim Council of Britain. You know the organisation that the Muslim, the British Army talk to, yeah? That that, that organisation whose, whose leaders have said that British, British personnel are legitimate targets for suicide bombings, would they be under investigation? Would anything be, would you have seized their, seized their phones? I've just been speaking to some of those young lads' families. They've seized their phones. They've took all their phones to investigate them. For having a photo taken at a service station. What a joke. A photo taken with someone who's never ever been criminally charged or arrested for anything to do with extremism. They say far right. Far right? They're saying their headline about far right. It's a great bit of I know. I'm just... It's, it's infuriating. And you know what? You have to just send a message to say... Let me just... You have to send a message. The only message can be that they need to realise before they, before they do this, before they go through with whatever little bullshit investigation they're doing, they need to realise the amount of public feeling about it. The website, www.standwithourlads.com. That's the website. Share it everywhere you can, right? Share it everywhere you can, sign it, let them see, just like the government would have seen, oh shit, 600,000 people signed a petition to release Tommy Robinson. This isn't good, yeah? They need to realise the public feeling. If you think, if you think you're gonna be able to just hang these boys out, um, I, I just can't believe it. I was gonna do this when I got home, but I can't, I, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Those young men, and I said to them, I didn't want to. I, I wouldn't want to get you in trouble by sharing the photo. And I said, what for? What for? <coughs> I'll tell you what for, because it's 2018 and political correctness is so embedded in every area of our country, even the army. Even the army. But it takes one minute. It will take you one minute. You see if everyone shared this and shared it everywhere, one minute, sign that petition, and I'll, I'll personally hand it in to the army. And not just and follow this because you can see all these organisations. You can see them all commenting now. They're all silent about how many Muslims are joining. How many Muslims joined ISIS? You know what I mean, just combusted with rage. I'm sorry. I, I am. I'm combusted with rage. I am combusted with rage. I'm furious thinking about those young lads. For, yeah, you you sign them up. You sign them up and you send them off. The yeah, you sign them off and and, and you go and send them off. And you won't even, you won't, and you think you can persecute them now. Persecute them like they've done something criminally wrong. A photograph, a photograph with an individual. And you're investigating them, taking their phones, seizing their phones. But keep monitoring this, if you, and as I said, follow the website, because I'll put the updates on that website. The updates continue going on that website. Just, um, it's absolutely unbelievable. It's a, oh man. And if you know, you know, if you look at the most recent army recruitment videos, look at all the army recruitment videos, yeah? It's all about, it's okay to cry in the army, yeah? It's okay if you want to cry. It's okay, and then it's got someone else saying, it's got another, the, the recruitment video, it's got another man saying, when I, yes, it was okay for me to have my boyfriend in the army, I didn't realise it. Why are you making a deal of all these issues? There's always been gay men in the army. There's always been gay men in the army. Why right now, it's, it's just all being shoved in everyone's faces, all of these issues. All of these issues, which don't need to be. They don't need to be. And now with the whole 
the, the recruitment drive to fill our army. It will, oh man. But anyway, one other thing. <laughs> Whilst I'm on a live stream and when there's 10,000 people watching, I want to say that when I come out of custody, it's embarrassing enough, when I come out of custody, I wasn't in a great place. I then took time now to prepare myself up for probably going back to prison in two weeks. That's why I need to sign a petition so I can hand it in before I go back. But, um, and I want to say a thank you to all the people who signed up for, on my website that give me the ability and the time to take a back seat, have some time with my family, but also to plan for what I want to do after after my court case. I'm sort of like in limbo land at the minute where I'm just waiting to go back to prison for absolutely, for nonsense, for free speech again, for telling facts that are already in the public domain. They want to send me back to prison for it. Do you know what I also found out if while I'm on that subject? Levi Bellingfield, do you remember the murderer who was a bouncer? He was a bouncer, he was a murderer. He, he murdered a young girl. When he was on his court trial, the Daily Mirror, one of the newspapers which has been hammering me for, for my contempt of court charge, well, the Daily Mirror breached, breached the restriction and prejudiced the trial. They prejudiced the trial so much that the jury had to be disbanded and, and the case collapsed, yeah? And then they had to start a whole new trial. 10,000 pound fine they got. They got a 10,000 pound fine. Never in 70 years has any journalist ever been sent to prison or prosecuted in any way. But yet they want, I'm, back on, I'm back on trial in two weeks. And this is all plays in to the reason why these young men are being targeted by their bosses within the army for having a photo. Political correctness in an attempt to shut everyone up and silence everyone and anyone who dares show any opposition to Islam in Britain. That's it. That's what's happened. So that's... I that box. Yeah, I know. I'm having a rant. I'm having a mid-rant. I was sitting... Yeah. Right. Yeah, not bad, mate. <coughs> Standing in Bexley High Street, having my rant about how unbelievable it is the current situation of our country and do you know what i sense and this is so that people feel they're not alone because i know i'm not alone because everywhere i go i get an amazing reception the same reception i got of those young armed forces i get everywhere i go so i am fully aware that the british public are feeling these feelings they're feeling oppressed they're feeling silenced they're feeling feeling shut down no one can speak no one can do anything without being attacked and slandered and imprisoned or sacked Losing your job. We had a young girl this week, 17 years old, kicked out of her college class for saying that she admired Tommy Robinson. So what? So what if she did? What happened to freedoms in an education system that is absolutely... It was all right for everyone else to support Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn, who attends terrorist funerals, who says Hamas, who are a prescribed terrorist organisation, are his friends. That's all fine, because it fits the far-left agenda. Fits the far-left anti-Semitic, communist and Marxist agenda. But as soon as you express opposition to any of these things, opposition to gangs of Muslim men raping young girls, opposition to terrorists walking our streets, opposition to any, any of this. I've gone on a rant and I've gone off on one. But um, yeah, that's it. So I want to say thank you to everyone who's been doing that and please sign that petition and make sure that even if you don't like, make, everyone has to make sure that these boys ain't left out on their own on this, that the British Army are fully aware of the public feeling about this, that our soldiers are allowed if they want to take a photo with whoever the hell that whoever the hell they want to take a photo with none of them made political statements at all none of them share it and uh i'll stop ranting now i've got to go home a miles away see you later and if anyone's watching this who's if there's any other family members from those young lads or any of the lads that i'll keep completely confidential and i won't say a word that's you that's contacted me let keep me up to date with what the what the army are doing on this because we just simply we simply as a nation we cannot allow young men to be treated like this by our by our military you can't just because they've got a could, yeah you put them in uniform you send them off to fight and then you want to take everyone their own freedoms away it can't be allowed